Hey guys, today we're going to be making lip balm and this is one of my favorites so I'm excited to share this recipe with you. This is creamsicle lip balm with a peach tint. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I want to show you first before we get started with how we're making it, I want to show you the ingredients I'm going to be using to give you an idea of what to expect along the way. So first off, you're going to be needing a wax of some kind. So I use beeswax, but if you're vegan, there's other waxes out there. You can use uh, vegetable wax, palm wax, there's different options out there. In fact, I will post some different ideas on my blog too, so I'll post that link below. Um, now we're also going to be needing a butter or butters. I like to use cocoa butter and shea butter, those are two of my favorites. And then of course we'll need oils. So I like to use coconut oil, but there's tons of carrier oils out there. There's sweet almond oil, there's avocado oil, tons of really nourishing oils for your skin. Coconut oil is just one of my favorites and I really like the scent too. Um, so it works well for this recipe because it's kind of along those same kind of sweet sort of lines. So anyways, um, this is uh, Dr. Bronner's coconut oil, but I'm actually going to be using this coconut oil in this particular recipe because it has, uh, it's infused with vanilla. So that's, that's going to give us kind of our creamsicle, that's the vanilla side of the creamsicle. And then I'm also going to be using cuckoo nut oil. And so that's like pretty much the base of our recipe. And then there's some extras that you can throw in there as well. So and one of the extras that I like to use is vitamin E. It serves as a preservative and it's also very nourishing for your skin, your lips as well. Um, and then we have tints and flavors. So what I'm going to be using for a tint is actually a lipstick and you can use whatever color lipstick you want and it doesn't matter the brand or anything. It can be high end, low end, whatever you like. And I prefer to use a bright lipstick rather than a already pastel lipstick because you're just going to be getting a tint. So if you use a bright lipstick, you just take a little sliver of it, it's going to give you a nice tint. So that's what I got out of this bright coral lipstick. Uh, and this is Revlon Coral Berry. And then for flavoring um, and scent, I use sweet orange essential oil. Uh, if you don't have essential oils, there's other options. Um, you may have something else in your kitchen already, like this is Simply Organic, this is orange flavoring, and it is, um, it's really simple ingredients in here too. So it's just organic sunflower oil and organic orange oil. So totally natural there too. And if you do use a flavoring like this, make sure that it's oil-based. You don't want to use the ones that have the alcohol and water base, because then it's not going to blend with the oils very well that you're already using. Okay, so I think I covered everything. Um, of course, you're going to be needing a little tin or container if you don't like the pots. I can, I think when um, you know when I'm making my lip balms at home, it's kind of fun to have the pot. I don't know, they're just cute. But if you want to use like an old um, like lip balm container or something like this kind, or if you, you you can buy these on Etsy and stuff too, like brand new ones. So I may do that in the future too sometime. Anyway, so you can use that kind too. Doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first step is to take your wax and a heat safe dish. This is what we're going to be doing our melting in and we're going to go create a double boiler with a pan of water. But first, um, this is the beeswax I'm going to be using. I already measured it out. It's approximately, well it's just over 10 grams. 10 grams is approximately one tablespoon. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this into my dish. So our wax is starting to melt and it's really easy to create a simple double boiler at home. All you need is a large pan, add a little water to it, add it about an inch of water and then set your heat safe dish inside and that's where we're going to be melting all of our wax and butters. So you don't want the water to come to a boil though, you just want it to simmer and that's going to melt the wax and the butters really slowly and that's just what you want. I'm going to add one tablespoon of cocoa butter. Next, I'm going to add a half tablespoon of shea butter. Now that that's melted, we're ready to add our oils. So I'm going to be adding coconut oil, and you can use regular coconut oil. I'm going to use this Manoy oil because it's infused with vanilla, and this is one of my favorite coconut oils to use. Um, Dr. Bronner's is a really good one, too. So I just use one tablespoon of coconut oil. Next, I'm using kukui nut oil, and I'm going to do just shy of a half a tablespoon. Alright, so I took it off the heat after our oils and waxes were completely melted, and they're still quite warm, so I'm just going to be adding a little bit of vitamin E oil, so probably just about one pump should do it. 
and then I'll just go ahead and stir that. Now I'm just using this little stir stick here, it's actually just a chopstick. Next we want to add some color to it, so I'm using this Revlon lipstick, and you can actually use whatever lipstick you want, it just depends on the color. I prefer using brighter colored lipsticks because it only takes a little bit and then you get a nice tint to your balm. So I'm just going to slice off just a little sliver there, just about that much. So the lipstick color I used was Coral Berry. It was a bright coral, but it's going to turn it a nice, soft, peachy tone, so it's going to be perfect for our kind of creamsicle theme. Next, we're going to add our flavoring or our fragrance. So I'm going to be using Sweet Orange, and this is, again, going to be perfect for our creamsicle. The, uh, the coconut and vanilla oil that we used earlier mixed with the Sweet Orange essential oil is going to be delicious. So I'm going to add about six drops. And the essential oils should be the last step in the process because you don't want those to, um, you know, they can evaporate. Um, so you want those to be the very last step. Now for the final step, pouring into our little lip balm containers. So I found these little heart-shaped containers on Etsy. And again, I will post the link to my blog um, with all the information where I got everything. And so we are ready to pour. So the amount that I made here pours enough to fill about two lip balm containers of this size. And there we have the final results. Our creamsicle lip balms are all done. And then up here are some other ones that I've done um, over the past few days. So you can see the different colors here. So that one I used a pink, hot pink lipstick, um, nude lipsticks, and there's another peach one back there. And this is what it would look like if you didn't add any color or tint at all. Um, but I really like the creamsicle ones. I think they turned out really nice. So that's all there is to making your own lip balm at home and it's super easy to change up the recipe. You can change up the oils, the ingredients, you can change the color, the fragrance, whatever you like. Just have fun with it. And of course I can always do more recipes in the future uh, for lip balms or actually I've got a ton of body care products that I want to do for you guys. So anyways, um, oh and one more thing, don't forget that if you want to change, you know, like if you want your lip balm more soft and kind of more glossy, just use a little more oil and if you want it firmer, just use more wax. And that's, that's pretty much it, it's very basic. So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video, bye!